Councillor Rosalie Furler from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. A welcome to another great morning down here. And welcome to Church on the Beach. Let's continue on today with a series, Everybody Ought to Know. Everybody Ought to Know. Everybody Ought to Know the Lord and have the revelation of His goodness and His mercy and His great love for you today. We pray that the eyes of your understanding will be opened today and that the revelation of Jesus Christ will come into your heart. Remember when Jesus said to his disciples, Who do people think that I am? Well, some say that you're John the Baptist, some say that you're Elijah, some say that you're Jeremiah, some say that you're one of the other prophets. Jesus looked at Peter and said, Well, who do you say that I am? He replied, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said to Peter, well, flesh and blood hasn't revealed that to you, but my Father which is in heaven. We're talking about revelation knowledge. You can live by revelation knowledge. You don't need too many words from God to live on those words. What a great morning here. Love to share the scenery with you. Jesus said that men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So firstly, we need the revelation that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. That God loved us so much that he came in the person of Jesus Christ himself to die for our sins on the cross. I check out this dog <laughs> up on the bow of the boat. And Jesus being on the cross cried out, It is finished. Fulfilling the words of the prophets including John the Baptist when he saw Jesus coming and said, Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And that same precious blood that Jesus shed on the cross was shed for us and avails for us today. Got the sun coming up and the moon going down and boats going everywhere. I just love it down here. And I love the power of the blood that cleanses our conscience from dead works that we might serve the living God. But we need to put our faith in the blood. And then we can be free from the guilt of sin, the condemnation of sin, and the shame of sin. Romans 5, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Just if I have never sinned. That is the good news of the gospel. We can now be free from sin. And if we do sin and confess our sins, then God is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Then if we're cleansed, we can then boldly come into His presence and enjoy the presence of God knowing that we can come without guilt or shame or condemnation. How often do we slip back into the natural realm? We have our ups and we have our downs. And we can think bad things about ourselves, feel condemned, feel guilty and have shame in our life. But it's in the realm of the soul where these things happen in our thinking and feeling. I like what King David said in Psalm 103, O oh, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. And don't forget all the benefits and the things that he has done for us. Who forgives all of our sins, he removes them as far as the east is to the west, and he heals all of our diseases. Oh, let's remind ourselves today of the goodness of God and the benefits of God and all that Jesus done for us on the cross. The work of salvation, it is finished. Jesus said, I am the way, 
the truth and the life. And no man comes to the Father except by me. I couldn't get Psalm 136 off my heart this morning. It speaks of the mercy of God. It endures forever. Yes, His mercy and loving kindness is poured out upon all who call upon His name. I want you to have a great day. God bless you.